Hello. In this spreadsheet, it's probably fairly obvious that the number here, this 68.1, is the average grade of all these students' grades. Now, wouldn't it be handy if, as we carry on developing this spreadsheet, we could talk about this number here as the average grade, rather than having to remember or work out that it's E8 every single time, risking making a mistake? In fact, we can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to name cells and then refer to them by their name in future. As spreadsheets become more complex, it's sometimes very easy to make a mistake referring to the wrong cell. And when you have to look along the column headings and the row headings to work out which cell you're talking about, uh, the possibility of making a mistake is, is very real. It makes it much easier for you if, instead of referring to individual cells with the reference of, in this case, E8, uh, instead you refer to it with a name. Now that makes sense because that's how we would talk about it. If this was a spreadsheet and I was talking to you about it, which I am, then I wouldn't refer to this cell constantly as E8. I would talk about being the average grade. This is the average grade for John, but this is the total average grade for all students, for all subjects. Since I use words to refer to a cell to explain what they mean, I can use words to name that cell and then use that name in future. Let me show you how. Uh, first of all, I'm going to click on this cell here, 68.1, and at the top left of the spreadsheet, just above the uh, heading for A and just above all these row headings, there's this little discrete box. It's very easy to miss it. Uh, many people don't even see it's there, really. It's just one of those things you ignore. Um, and it says E8, which is, of course, the cell reference. But you can click in that box and delete E8 and write in whatever you want to call that cell. So currently, its name is E8. But what would happen if we named it, say, um, average grade? Well, let's just type in average Let's try typing it correctly. Average grade. There we are. So I've typed in the name average grade and then I press enter. Now we can test this because if I was to click on, say, this cell here, we can see at the top it says E7. If I click back on this one, the average grade, we can see at the top that the name box contains the name we typed in there, average grade. We can go ahead and change that if we wanted to, but let's leave that there for the moment. So we've named a cell. That's great. How does that help us in future? Well, let's say that over here, I'm going to have a cell which makes it very clear that the average grade is 68.1. I'm going to do that by putting in a formula that says equals, and then we'll just have some text. So average grade is um, and then we'll add and normally what we would have to do here is to either type in e8 or find where that cell is and click on it and then go back to our formula and continue with it but in this case because i have named that cell what i need to do is simply type in its name so i'm going to type in average grade as soon as I type in the name, Excel recognizes the fact that what I've just typed is the name of one of the cells, and so it turns blue, and we can see over here the named cell has been selected. So I can now press Enter, and there we are. We've now got average grade is, and then the value from this cell. And the reason, by the way, that that looks slightly different is because here I have formatted this cell to show only one decimal place, whereas this number is the actual value that's hidden inside that cell. Let's just try this once more. Uh, so let's take the average grade here. So this is the average grade. This is the average um, letter. All right, let's type in average mark. Let's call this average mark, this one. Probably should have been the other way around, but let's go with this. So click on this cell, 
At the top where it says F8, we'll delete that and type in average mark, press enter, and that cell has now been named average mark. Let's just do a very simple formula here, equals average mark. And there we are, C appears there. Uh, as well as naming single cells, we can also name complete groups of cells. So I could, for example, take all of these cells here, all of the grades, and call that group grades. So now I have referred to this block of cells um, with a single name, which can be useful for uh, a variety of other purposes later on. I won't go into that in this um, video here. But naming cells makes so much more sense. Uh, if you are referring to cells with their names, you don't have to remember where the cell is. You don't have to go hunting around looking for it and possibly clicking on the wrong cell. You can just type in names. It's how we work as people. We use names to refer to things. So start using names in Excel to refer to cells rather than uh, using cell references.